What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in this video we're going to talk about an extension that allows you to easily create roofs in SketchUp. Before we get started, I do want to take a second and thank my newest supporter on Patreon, Ahmed Nashad. So a lot of you know one of the perks of supporting me on Patreon is uh, that you get to vote on the extension of the week that I cover every week. So if you're interested in supporting the show, maybe in uh, voting on the extension that I cover every week, uh, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Um, so this week, my Patreon supporters selected the extension Roof by TIG. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Roof. Plugin developer, TIG. Plugin cost, it's free. Please remember to donate to your developers. Where can you get it? You can download it from the Sketchication extension store or by clicking the link in the notes below. Tool functions. Roof is an extension from TIG that contains a suite of roof creation tools. If you've ever struggled to create a roof on a building in SketchUp, this extension can make your life a lot easier. The way it works is simple. You simply create your building, then select a face, go up to Extensions, Roof, and select the kind of roof that you'd like to create on your building. This extension allows several different kinds of roofs, including hipped, mansard or sprocket, gable-ended, and pyramid. In addition, it also contains a tool that allows you to measure the slope of a face. The first thing I want to note is that there's a very useful help file that doesn't get downloaded and installed with this extension. I've linked to it in the notes down below. Um, it's very comprehensive and it's definitely worth downloading. It's got some really useful tips. Now, let's take a look at some of the options that come along with this extension. Roof slope is fairly self-explanatory. You can set the slope of your roof with this extension. Fascia size and soffit size allow you to set the height of the vertical fascia on your roof as well as the length of the overhang underneath. You can also pick if the fascia or the soffit slope. If you select the option for select layer and materials, then you can set what layer the roof gets placed on as well as the material of the roof soffit, and fascia. Note that the only materials that show up on these lists are materials actively in your model, so you may need to create a little surface somewhere with the roof materials that you'd like on them. Mansard slash sprocket allows you to set the lower and upper roof slopes, as well as the height of the lower roof, in addition to all the other tools that we discussed before. The gable ended roof allows you to pick the side of the roof that the gable will be on by selecting multiple points. The drop downs allow you to adjust the kind of gables created. There are several other options that you can use, like creating a gable roof with box eaves, creating a gable roof with a fascia on the end, and other options as well. This one's best to just play around with until you kind of have an idea of what the different options are going to create. Pyramid works in much the same way as Gable. You simply select the three points to create your roof. Finally, if you ever want to calculate the slope of a face, you can run the Get Slope tool to select one individual face and figure out what its slope is. That's where I'm going to end today's video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Do you like this extension? Um, are there some cool things that you've been doing with it? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So please check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.